Finally, device I can use to watch my own videos. Or I can check my camera. Hi! Or I can run my own web pages and control my own ESP32 devices. I'm getting more and more into home automation. I'm looking for a smarter way to control lights, heating and everything else. And since I was um, since I've been oriented toward making things myself for many years, I avoided uh, using finished finished home automation products. But to be honest, uh, on my own I wasn't able to build something complex enough. However, I think I found alternative. This video is sponsored by Sonoff. Sonoff makes smart home gadgets such as smart switches, smart plugs, and energy monitor systems, cameras, and all kind of Wi-Fi, Zigbee, Bluetooth devices and sensors. The devices are really easy to use and and I use recommended EV Link app. At the same time I want to be able to use my own devices, my own sensors and my other ESP32 based gadgets and now I can. This is a Sonoff NS Panel Pro Smart Home Control Panel and it will soon be installed on the wall in my living room. This is not ESP32 device. This hardware is more capable. So for example you can even watch YouTube videos on this. I won't use it for videos, but but ability uh, to easily access websites is very useful. For example, I created a website that can turn GPIO pin on my ESP32 board on or off. Or, or for example, here you can see data from my outdoor ESP32 thermometer and data are from ThinkSpeak site. Basically I can still integrate some of my older projects very easily and uh, they have also open source API and full documentation is he available here and I'm planning to play with it also in next few days. I already have a few son of products. Some of, them, some of them I even bought myself, like this camera, which will be installed outside. I will use it to check who is in front of my door directly from mobile app or even from this NS Panel Pro. I have also this uh, basic smart Wi-Fi switch. I can control it here. I don't know, can you hear that click of relay? It is really basic and really affordable. input AC line and neutral and output is connected to this lamp. 
so I can control this lamp. Very basic and I saw, I think I've sold these uh, products for six dollars so they are very affordable and I also received this air quality sensor which measures temperature and humidity but um, its main function is measuring CO2 and thanks to this device I'm opening my window much more often many of uh, Sonoff products are based on ESP32 platform I'm not sure but I think this one is definitely and when a son of contact contact me my first question was my first question was uh, whether it was okay to hack their devices <laughs> to change the firmware or modify or modify something inside they said that they are fine with it and that they support my maker approach we will see how it goes for now i'm using the app and this panel to control uh, son of devices and but i'm also ex planning to experiment with their api in the future this can also be used as a Zigbee hub meter, meter bridge and you can even install open source F-Droid apps. So I'm not sure did I get it right, this is like firmware running here is basically Android. In app we can change layout, we can, sorry this is on creation, we can add web sites, we can set up uh, voice calls because you can use this to answer your calls and you can add a uh, other device you can set this as Zigbee gateway and much more. It is very easy to use and all devices of, are added using QR code which can be filed directly on device. That's it. Uh, I hope you liked this. This is this video is definitely different because uh, usually I don't use stuff like this but when you offer me good display and I think price is quite good for this less than 100 euros and you get you get panel which can be used there to control your or apartment or house with much more better hardware than ESP32 and boards we are used to see on this channel. That's it. Thank you and have a nice day.